Yo people, what is good? Sunny day, Tom Hotspur. Spurs free, Brentford won. Fully deserved, man. Fully deserved, we deserve this. It should have been more, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, we gave them some chances as well. It should have been more. For those who have been watching my shit as well, thank you for the support, thank you for the likes. Yeah, man, today we needed a performance, we needed a result. We got it. Some big performances, some big goals. Listen, two fantastic finishes. Brennan Johnson, two in two. Keep the hot hand hotting, yeah? Keep the hot hand going, yeah? Listen, if I'm being super critical, I thought he was quite poor in the second half, but that finish in the first half, on top of a couple of good passes, we need him, we need him confident. We need him being confident enough to take shots, to be audacious in those moments and to have the execution. Because today we played really well. 23 attempts, 17 in the first half, six big chances, 3.5 XG. And yet, it took us until what, the 80 something minute to, to, to make the game really safe. It's mad because I, I really want to praise this team. I think we had some good performances today. Listen, Ange Postecoglou didn't set up that differently to what he normally does. We still saw the fullbacks invert, but I did see a lot more overlapping from Destiny Adogi on the left-hand side. Um, but yeah, I just thought generally, players stepped up today and Brentford just kept playing into our traps. Just kept playing into our traps. Just kept trying to play out, build out in the zones that we wanted. And we were just outnumbering them. Winning, over, winning the ball, turning over possession. I felt like for the amount of times we forced them to turn over the ball, we didn't score enough goals. It's mad. 3-1. And we didn't score enough. I'm sorry. We did not score enough today. I'm sorry. We, we, we didn't. But as I said, fantastic, uh, fantastic goals, man. Honestly, I think if I look at our performance today, the, the players who really impressed me, I thought Solanke was brilliant today. I thought Solanke was brilliant today, yeah. Uh, I mean... The problem with Solanke, he scored, but he should have had two today. And I want him to be more of a killer, but today, really good performance technically. He works hard and on the ball, his touches, touch of class, it's night and day in comparison to Richarlison. He's stronger, very good technically, can take players on, can feed Fred, and feed and Fred passes through. Really good performance today, but for me, star of the show, James Madison. Fantastic, best player on the pitch for us today, man. Exquisite, exquisite performance. Uh, if you lot watched uh, the New Spurs Order podcast that I did a couple of, in fact, yesterday with my good brothers, Sai and Tops, we said the big players, they need to turn up. We've we, we, we spoken enough about the tactics and the tactics, they do need to be tweaked and altered. But the big players, they need to step up. And today, outside the sun, I think the big players stepped up. Um, or the players that we need dependency on, they stepped up. Brennan Johnson, he stepped up. Madison, he stepped up. Solanke, he stepped up. Romero and Van de Ven, they stepped up. Destiny, he stepped up today. It was a good performance from Destiny today. Um, of course, they caught us cold. Fantastic goal from Mbwemo. I was literally tying my laces. And as I look up, bang, they scored. Mental. The last time that happened to me, 2014, Thomas Rosicki. <laughs> Thomas Rosicki in the North London derby. But there were some good performances today, man. I thought Benton Cole was really good. He needed a, a, a good game today. Another one who, whose form's been questionable was really poor in the League Cup game. Was I thought he was average at best against Arsenal. But today, he did well, man. He did his job well. He was so good defensively, winning the ball back for us, progressing the ball, keeping that quick tempo, keeping the momentum. He played well today. So there were a couple of good performances. There were a couple of good performances today, man. Um, yeah. The finishes, I can't, I can't stop talking about the finishes. Brendan Johnson, fantastic finish. That's the, in the space of three days. In fact, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in the space of four days, we've seen probably the two best finishes from Brendan Johnson in his first career. In his first career. Fantastic finish. He arrowed him, bottom corner. Honestly, I want him to be a success at Tottenham. Ideally, I don't really want him at the club, but if he's going to be here... I want him to be a success. I want him to be good. I want him to shut me up. I want him to shut up the, the haters in general. And I want him to build his confidence, but he needs to be a killer in those moments like he was today. And in the second half, I think poor performance, but it wasn't just him. The execution from our plays in the final third, it leaves a lot to be desired. I have to go back to it. 23 attempts, six big chances created. I lost count of the amount of times we forced turnovers and we're not 
capitalizing on this and yet on the other end we're gifting the opposition's chances and i'll get onto that in a second but i want to talk about our, our, our offensive play man we need to be better it's mad we, we won 3-1 i'm happy with the result but we need to be better that game shouldn't have been ended in the 80 something minute that game should have been ended in the first half that game should have been ended in the first half they're kicking me out yeah but we just have to be better. We have to be more clinical. Kuliseski today, I thought his final third play was bad. His execution was bad. His he played a couple of good key passes, but he turned over the ball too much for my liking. And in the moments, the final moment, just wasn't the right level of quality. And that's just Tottenham in a nutshell. That is just Tottenham Hotspur in a nutshell. When it's time for us to make that final bit of execution, we let ourselves down. And that's what happens. And that's what culminates in us missing bags of chances. That's what culminates in us missing bags of opportunities to actually create good chances. Thank you, bro. It's just jarring, man. It's jarring. And I think it's a combination of players overplaying sometimes, not knowing when to shoot. But I also think personnel. We need better personnel. We need killers. We need killers, final third execution beasts, IQ that's spot on, that know when to shoot, when to pass, when to release, when to cross it high, when to cross it low, when to cut it back. That's what we need. But all in all, really good performance today, man. Um, Basuba came on, I thought he did well. Saar came on, I thought he was all right. Um, but listen, as I said, the negatives for me, Kulisewski, really poor today. Son, I thought him, he was the worst player of the pitch for me today. Awful. Son going through one on one. You expect goals. And somehow he delays, delays, delays and doesn't even get a shot off. On top of botching so many moments in the second half, so many moments where I talk about that execution, Son just botching so many moves. But finally, towards the end, finally the execution was right and Madison, fantastic finish. But Son, we need a better performance today. You can't use the excuse of, oh, you're playing too far out. We got Son the ball in the sweet spots where he wants it. Narrower, playing, running at goal in space and we are just fumbling. Not good enough. Vicario, as I said, bag of rebels today. Bag of rebels today. I think Vicario is a good goalkeeper and I think he does some good things in the game of football, as you saw today. I thought his passing was, was, was good today. I thought first time passes with his left and his right, I thought they were pretty, they were pretty decent. But with Vicario, you, you need to stop being a coward. You have to be strong. We got lucky today with that, with that moment in the second half. And you have to be sensible. We got lucky today because he wasn't sensible in that moment in the second half. And he's come out to get the ball and he's not, he's not really like claimed it well. And that's the problem with Vicario sometimes. In dead ball situations or in certain moments, his ability to come and claim stuff, it's not good. And whether it's someone pushing him or whether it's him just, just making a mess of the claim, it needs to be better. Because today, he should have been sent off. At the time, I didn't think that he took the ball away from another Brentford player. But when I'm watching the replays, he's taken the ball away from another Brentford player. That should be a red card. I'm sorry, that actually should be a red card. He got lucky today. Like, he needs to stop letting some of these flaws override the good things he did in the game of football like the big saves he made he made a fantastic save today but he only had to make that save because he dwelled on the ball too long I think he's in his head of course he's got fundamental flaws the claiming is a concern being stronger like he needs to improve in these things but fundamentally I think he just needs to start playing better start playing better so Son, Kulisevsky <laughs> um, Vicario I want to see more but all in all good performance today we deserve the result 3-1, prediction, spot on, we move. Next week, Man United, get the job done. No excuses, right? Ange Postacoglu, Ange Postacoglu, you cannot lose next week. You cannot lose the week after, yeah? People, let me know your thoughts on my match with you. What have I missed? James Madison, man of the match, brilliant. I've spoken about him. Exquisite, that's what we want from Madison. That's what we need. Fantastic performance, honestly. He should have been on like four or five assists today. Should have been on four or five assists today. He's unlucky. He didn't get an assist today. He was exquisite. Destroyed them. That's what we talk about. Big players stepping up. But anyway, people, I'm out, man. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Peace out.